Hey there, what is up, plant community? Green Thumb here. So, I figured I'd kind of go ahead and give a uh, palm tree update, maybe on some of my uh, tropical palms. So, this is my Majesty palm here. I'm having to uh, spray it down because I found some scale on it here. So, sorry if the camera isn't going to be perfectly still on this guy because... Uh, I'm trying to spray it down. Actually, let me spray it completely down. I'll put the uh, I'll put the camera on and make sure it uh, focuses better. All right, sorry about that, guys. I uh, usually find one scale bug on that, and I usually freak out. And uh, yeah, I definitely want to spray it to make sure. Oh, I did not get that spear because that's usually where they're on the most. All right, we should be good now. Yeah, so this is my Majesty Palm. Uh, it's doing okay. Looks a little, uh, of course, it always looks like this at the end of the year. I won't trim all that off until spring. Um, we could look here. We could see some deficiency, probably potassium. I have some potassium water now, so it should be good. Let's go outside here. Let's see what's going on. So... It's been mild out here, could be warmer. This is my needle palm, which you guys was recently introduced to. Doing fine. I uh, kind of moved some of them in. Yep, needle palm for the wind so far, doing good. You can see here, this has been trimmed, but I think that's an old frond, just like this one's an old frond. I remember in the video I said that, um, I think he trimmed it up for it to fit in the box, but yeah, I think these are just old fronds. So, yep, can't wait to plant this guy in the ground. Yep, palm tree update before we get into the New Year's, because let me tell you, landscape is going to change out here, and yeah. Then this is my Trachycarpus. Or tunii, also known as Chinese windmill palm, and that's my Livestona chinensis over there. So yeah, Trachycarpus fortunii doing good. These uh, fronds over here now are finally starting to get a bit more yellow. Um, when they go completely yellow, I'll completely cut them off. Uh, yeah, Trachycarpus is probably gonna go there, and. Uh, Needle palms probably gonna go somewhere over there, but yeah. Tracky carpus for tunii. Looking good. Definitely gonna have to uh, put in the ground. Now my only hopes is is that it says that people say they're slow growing. And um, I'm hoping that by the time it gets a trunk or something like that, government housing will not be like, oh well. This is a tree, and yeah, you need to dig it up. People have told me to argue with them about saying, well, I'm beautifying the landscape and, and all this, which when it comes to government housing, that's, that's usually not how it works. It's either their way or no way. But again, you know, maybe things can change as long as people know where to plant things. Like, for example, um, they were kind of crabby about uh about rose bushes i remember as a kid somebody planted a rose bush and they told me you've got to dig it up or we're gonna take it out and they're like no we're not taking it out and they just completely hooked a truck up to it put a chain around it and just yanked that right out of the ground i'm like brutal then they made them pay to put the grass back and everything so yeah hopefully that doesn't happen with me and uh I'll just tell them it's an annual, and I'll and there'll be uh, it's stuff I gotta dig up every year. Yeah, maybe that'll help me get away with it. All right, but um, Livestona chinensis doing good. Nice strong spear there. Here, this one's kind of starting over, but uh, in the middle there, but that's fine. Then we got that one there. Got three of them in total. I was thinking about putting that in the ground to contrast with the Trachycarpus fortunii. But, um, 
honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm win- wanting to uh, do with it because uh, I know it's a zone nine plant for Florida, but I'm not sure how, because there's so many there, I'm not sure how I'd really go about protecting it. A single trunk specimen I can do, but this is like a triple trunk, so yeah, I'm just not sure how I'd go about doing that. If uh, anybody has any ideas where it won't be so obvious, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'm a zone 6A. All right, let's uh, let's go to the back now. All right, we're in the back now. Got some mud there. I need to. I should probably try to invest some seeds, some uh, grass seed, and uh, put it around. Cause yeah, it gets a. Uh, it gets quite muddy here. Again, this whole area used to be a swamp. So, yeah. So, here we have my Cordyline Australis in the ground. Not really showing off the potted one, even though I zone push out in the pot. People seem to be more interested about the things in the ground. So, yeah. Here he is, surviving so far, zone 6A. I just put a little minuscule protection around him, throw some hot hands in there, zone push him in an affordable way. So far, it seems to be working. There's that spear, no spear pool, no nothing. It's green, healthy, a few dying leaves, but you know, that, that tends to happen. It's about the closest thing we can get to a Dracaena marginata in the ground here. All right, sorry about that mess here. And then another thing which I keep forgetting to show off, Spanish moss still doing good. Still green. So, a little clump's doing good. A clump up front, not so much. Alright, so now over here, we have my lady finger. Got some damage. Yeah, because it's, it's holding on to a bit of moisture. It's going to have to dry out. So, yeah, we got some damage, it looks like, but I always get a new one. Or just completely replace it with something better. But, yeah, uh, I'm going to get another one anyways. I'm going to put it in the ground. So, yeah, do with that info as you will. This guy's going to stay in a pot, and hopefully he does better. I just got to keep in mind to uh, let him dry out. Because, yeah, it seems to be he's getting, uh, well, if we look up there, there's some moisture up there. See his little dew droplets? It's probably the cause of my issue right there. And the fact that we don't get sun back here during the uh, winter time at all. And then over here we have my lady finger palm, finger late. I mean, I really just call this a lady finger. I'm sorry. I meant bamboo palm. Wow. Uh, I, I guess I just had that on my mind for some reason. Yeah, doing good. Doing wonderful. Um, yeah, got a new spear there. Got a spear coming up here. Some spears there. Now, I know somebody last night questioned about my, um, my, uh, fishtail palm I was here, and they said, rip, it's, it's not completely dead, there's some suckers on the bottom I didn't really show off, it's just, I don't know, I'm just really not worried about it anymore, I'm trying to get off the major tropical palms, really, um, just because it's a hassle to bring them in and out constantly, and I'd rather have palms that are like zone 7 I could put in a pot and just bring in and out, and uh, whenever we get a hard freeze, it'd be much more easier. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, the beauty of the tropical palms is wonderful, but I just don't want to deal with something I have to constantly bring in and out, in and out, in and out. I'd rather have palms... I could take a bit of cold and be just fine. I don't have to constantly bring in and out, in and out, just to keep them healthy and green. Because 
I only have a small room, and let's face it, I grow other things that I really like to grow too. So it's just, it's just not reasonable for me to keep them in complete darkness. So, yeah, it's not reasonable for me to kind of stuff the downstairs with nothing but plants, especially when my dad doesn't like it and my mother doesn't like. Well, my mother's okay with it. My brother, I think, finds it annoying, and. So, yeah, you know, I still ain't got my own place. I'm trying to get there. So, just a bit of a struggle, buffs. But, yeah. Yep. Everything seems to be doing fine here. In fact, since that's been holding on to moisture a little bit, I'm going to see. No spear pool, but what I might do is move this guy over there. So, that way they can uh, get a different amount of moisture. Because that stays more dry over there. Well, anyways, guys, that's really about it with the uh, palms. The uh, zone pushing with the palms here. Otherwise than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, keep it real and keep it tropical.